A member of a local band is recovering after a serious accident on I-44 near Stroud while driving to a music festival in Las Vegas. The band says a chain link from an 18 wheeler came flying through the van's window, launching into the driver's neck. Fox 25 Sarah Smith is live tonight and Sarah, this is a terrifying story. Yeah, it is Wayne and tonight that driver is out of ICU, but doctors say this is a miracle. I don't have the answers. Cliff Diver is the name of this band. Morning. Tuesday, they were happy, healthy, and heading to play a rock festival in Las Vegas. We were all super high spirited. We were super excited. We were, you know, playing video games in the back seat, and, um, and then all of a sudden, it just a loud pop came and um, looked like the window just, you know, um, exploded. Lead singer Joey Duffy says bassist Tyler Rogers was behind the wheel. We were going 80, um, and his foot was down on the accelerator when he passed when he was unconscious. So we kept accelerating, and we were. You know, swerving. Luckily, there were no other cars uh, where we were at that point in time because we were, you know, all over the lane. For a chain link from an 18 wheeler blew off and lodged into a major artery in Tyler's neck, police say. Because all we saw was just blood pouring out of his neck. And so we were just trying to do whatever we could. Tyler now awake at a Tulsa hospital. He's walking around the day. He's eating real food. You know, we're he was out of the ICU in less than a day. He's he's a tough dude. He's he's the. Uh, He's resilient. They may say Tyler is still making jokes and they're there by his side. His first thought, you know, we got this brand new van. His first thought was, I'm sorry, I bled inside the van and, and ruined it. And we were like, don't, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. A GoFundMe is set up in Tyler's name and fans are showing their support. I, I think the outpouring of love is still a little surreal for all of us. Um, it's still, it's still fresh, but I uh, mean, it's, it's beautiful. The band says the truck driver didn't stop, but they also say it's likely he didn't or she didn't know what happened. Live in Oklahoma City, Sarah Smith, Fox 25 News.